Excellent. Okay, here we go. Last video, I showed you Marvel vs. Capcom 2, the Naomi version, the arcade version, running on the Pi 4. I told you I'd show you how to get that game up and running. So here we go. Let's take a look. There are two ROMs that you can use. One is a zip file and the other one is a .lst. I'm going to show you both ROMs, but I believe the easier one is the zip file to use. Uh, I've had a little more success with that. And let's start with that. And I'm going to put this zip file in the arcade folder. The arcade folder can already read a zip, so we don't have to worry about adjusting the uh, ES Systems config file in order to get this uh, ROM to read. Right here, you're going to see Marvel vs. Capcom 2 zip. I'm going to open it so you can see what it looks like. And here we go. This is the zip file you need. I've downloaded a lot out there, and some of them don't look like this. Some of them are missing this, this file right here at the top. This is the one that works for me. We'll take a close look at this and uh, make sure your ROM mirrors this. Now, I don't share ROMs. I really don't understand the non-ROM sharing philosophy since so many people out there are sharing ROMs. I mean, people put out images with 4,000 ROMs on it and they share them just on the image and it's all over the place. I don't know. I'm going to stick with not sharing them. Uh, so don't ask me to share the ROM. You can find it out there. Uh, go ahead and get it yourself. Now, the other ROM, the LST ROM, which I put in my Thomas Wave folder here on the Pi image. And again, this Pi image that we use is the, is the Monka Pi image uh, done by Monka Blyot, which you can get on the SBC Reddit page. If you watch my other videos, you'll see I link it all in the description. So let's go into the Thomas Wave folder and take a look at that ROM. It's four files right here. You can see the LST file right here. You're going to need all of these four files. You can see the size. You can mirror yours off of that. But that's the other file that will run this Naomi uh, arcade version as well. If we go into our BIOS folder, you're going to put them into a DC folder. If you watch my videos, you know I'm, I'm a proponent of just dumping BIOS files in there. To me, it can't hurt. Um, so here's the two files right here, a Naomi.zip. And I will open it so you can see what it looks like. This is the Naomi.zip file. Now, this one, I believe, goes with the zip ROM file. So if you're going to run that one, you need this one. The Naomi.boot bin, I had success with just using this on the LST file. But I will say this. For some reason, I was having trouble on my PC with the boot bin file and the LST file getting it to run. But as soon as I added the Naomi zip BIOS file here, the ROM, the LST ROM ran. Don't know why I didn't need it on the Pi 4 image, but I needed it on my PC to get the LST file running. I will also say that the LST file that I have is a Japanese version. Uh, so when I had just the LST and this Naomi boot bin, it was the Japanese version. When I added the Naomi zip to the BIOS folder like this, it changed to the USA version. It literally took the Naomi BIOS file zip and overrode using the boot bin file and changed the ROM to a USA version. So once you have those two files in there, the two or you only need one. If you're only going to use the zip um, ROM, just put the Naomi.zip in there and it should work fine. Once you have that done, you can basically run it from in a Thomas Wave folder. But if you're like me, I want the arcade ROM in my arcade folder. I'm going to show you very quickly how I did that. And what we're going to do is we're going to edit the emulators config file that you're going to find in your arcade folder in the opt uh, folder directory. So we're going to go opt. RetroPie, Configs, and what we're going to want to edit here is the arcade folder, this emulators config file. And we're going to add the emulators Raycast and Flycast into that config file so we have the option to choose them when we're in our arcade folder. First, you're going to need the directory or the script from the DC emulators uh, config file so we can just copy and paste that script into the emulators config file for the arcade. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download this emulators config file uh, 
to my desktop here that's in the DC folder. Now notice again, I'm in the DC folder. So I downloaded it to my desktop and here it is right here. I'm going to rename it emulators-dc and we're going to leave it there for now. And I'm going to go back and now I'm going to download the emulators config file from the arcade folder. Download this to my desktop and that one is right here. Now we're going to edit with Notepad++. And you can see here's all the emulators that you have the options of choosing when you open games from the arcade folder. Uh, these are the emulators you can choose from when you hit A to launch that uh, window, which allows you to choose the emulators. We're going to add two here. We're going to add the Flycast and the Raycast. But in order to do that, we need this play, the script from right here from the DC emulators folder. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these. I'm going to copy these two. Don't need that default. And there's also two other emulators uh, as well that you can choose from, but I don't want those. I'm just taking these two. I'm going to go back to my emulators config. Pop it in here. Paste it in. Save. Close out. Go back to WinSCP so I can SSH this file over the arcade one. So I'm going to go to my desktop here. Find that emulators config, drag it over here into the arcade folder, overwrite yes, and now when we run that MVC2 uh, uh, zip file from our arcade folder, we'll be able to run it with Flycast because that zip file, I, I, somebody said it got they got it to run on MAME a little bit, but it runs terrible. So we use Flycast or Raycast. Uh, we're going to use Raycast probably uh, in this demonstration. But that's how you're going to get that emulator to show up when you launch the game. So you got your BIOS files, you got your ROM files in the right spot, or the BIOS files in the right spot, the ROM files in the folders you want. And now we're going to simply launch the game. Okay, so here we go with the Pi 4 image from Monk Appliot. Again, if you don't have it, go to the SBC Reddit page, which I'll link in the description, and go get this image. And we're going to scroll down to the Marvel uh, vs. Superhero, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 game. And as you can see, uh, I have the Dreamcast ROM already in my arcade folder. You can see that's the Dreamcast version. This is the one we just added, the Naomi version. And when we run it, we're going to launch it. We're going to hit A. And you can see that uh, we can't run it on MAME 2010, so we're going to have to change that. And I'm going to hit A here. And we're going to go down here. And now you can see, like I said before, we have our Raycast and our Flycast uh, emulator options because we edited that uh, emulator's config file. So we're going to pick Raycast here. If you watched my last video, you saw how it ran. It ran great. We'll just launch it really quick so you can see. And you can see it's up and running. You just got to do that. You got to have the right ROM, the right BIOS. You won't have any issues. So hey, either ROM you want to use, uh, go for it. Uh, they both run great. They both work great on the Flycast or your Raycast. And uh, again, if, uh, if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. You see more tutorials, more other stuff that uh, do on the channel. And again, as always, thanks for watching, everyone. Good luck getting this ROM running. Thanks.